Okay, here's the second question for Doppler effect. A truck is moving at 25 meter per second and emits a 400 hertz signal. Okay, the speed of sound in air is 343 meter per second. Calculate the wavelength between the source and a stationary observer if the truck is approaching the observer, moving away from the observer, and so on. Okay. Let us identify what information given. Okay, this is the truck emit the sound. The truck emit the sound. So who's the source? Yeah, the truck is the source. The truck is the source. So uh, the 400 hertz should be the frequency of the source. Frequency of the source, okay? Of source and 25 meter per second uh, means the source is moving. Uh, this is the speed of the source. The source is moving. Uh, the source is moving. Okay? And this is the speed of sound, V, just V. Now he find the wavelength. You want to find the wavelength, lambda. Uh, between the source and stationary observer. Observer is not moving. Okay, and the truck is approaching the observer. Okay, so truck approaching the observer A. Yeah, question A, truck is approaching the observer. That means the source is towards. Uh, source is moving. You know, this is the source. This is the source moving towards the observer. Uh, source towards the observer. So we can add a uh, source towards the observer. So of course the wavelength is being compressed. Okay. We have the frequency of source 400. Uh, velocity of source is 25. So what we first find out the observed frequency by the observer. What do you think? Uh, what will be the frequency observed by the observer? When the source towards moving towards the observer, of course you expected when uh, source towards the you expect the frequency observed increase, isn't it? Increase. So here below we have V S. Uh, the source is moving, so we have V S. We the, we don't have V O. We don't have velocity observer because observer stationary. We have source velocity. So. Uh, we need to put positive or negative in order to make the frequency increase. Yeah, we minor to make it minus to make it smaller. Minus make it smaller, so frequency will increase. Yeah? Frequency observed. Okay, let's find out the new observed frequency, uh, which is uh, V is 343 over 343 minus. Uh, 25 and then the emitted frequency actual frequency is uh, 400 400 hertz so the answer i get is 431.45 hertz yeah that is the new observed frequency so now i want to find the wavelength i want to now i want to find the wavelength uh, so the speed of sound is still the same, 343, uh, but the observed frequency is 431.45. So what's the wavelength? What's the new wavelength? So I got 0 0.795 meter. Uh, 795 meter, which is also 79.5 centimeter. Yes, uh, so this is the wavelength. This is the wavelength, okay? Uh, wavelength of the um, of the higher frequency, higher observed frequency. Now, uh, which is being compressed, yeah? Uh, when source moving towards, the frequency is being compressed. Yeah? So uh, I put this down. Yeah? Lambda, this lambda is uh, 79.5 centimeter. Okay. Now, how about the second one? 
now the the truck yeah the truck the source now the source is moving away from observer oh now the source is moving away from observer so we can expect when source moving away source moving away uh, away source away source away so we can expect the wavelength become longer wavelength become longer it's like being expand being uh, being pulled being expand um when source moving away we can uh, when something away observe frequency will drop then away so that means we need to make the below become higher to make higher uh here make it put positive uh we put positive then below here become bigger now we add with something of course become bigger so observe frequency become smaller we have vs below yeah so let's continue uh, 343 over 343 plus uh, 25 okay so the source frequency is um, 400 400 so what's the answer uh 372.3 uh 372.826 hertz uh, that's the observed frequency that's the observed frequency lower than before uh, yeah because now frequency drop frequency drop now uh put the let's find out the wavelength uh speed of sound is 343 uh, and then the lower frequency now so what is the wavelength so the wavelength i get is 0 0.92 meter which is also 92 cm oh this time the wavelength become longer than before uh, before it's uh, 79.5 now it's 92 expected the wavelength become longer uh, you see that you see that uh, you see when source moving towards the wavelength is being compressed the wavelength is being compressed but when the source is moving away the wavelength become expanded uh, become expanded uh, yeah the wavelength become longer yeah wavelength become short shorter this one wavelength become longer uh, expanded so when the source is moving you see both are uh, source moving towards source moving away as long as source is moving the wavelength will change either become smaller wavelength or become a longer wavelength uh, a compressed wavelength or a expanded wavelength uh, when the source is moving now look at the last one what will be the wavelength if the source now is stationary but the source the mount but now is the observer moving at 25 meter per second towards the source okay what will what will be the wavelength then if source is stationary if the source is stationary okay now the source is source is stationary if the source is stationary huh? uh, then the wavelength is unchanged uh, yeah at the left hand side or right hand side the wavelength is the same unchanged although the, the observer is moving towards yeah although the observer now is uh, moving towards but it, it doesn't change the wavelength the wavelength still the same huh? the wavelength i mean the wavelength of the wave the wavelength of the wave only depends on the source if the source is not moving stationary then the wavelength is unchanged so observer moving towards or moving away doesn't matter okay so to find the last wavelength which is unchanged we just use back the source frequency just use back the source frequency okay the velocity of sound is 343 speed of source uh, frequency of source is 400 and lambda so my lambda now is um, 0 0.8575 meter which is also 85.75 centimeter yes so that's the or actually this is the original wavelength uh, original wavelength 
85 cm when the source is stationary. The actual wavelength, this is actually the actual wavelength. Uh, we can say this is the, the actual original wavelength. Only after when the source is moving towards, uh, then, then the wavelength becomes compressed, 79. Or when the source is moving away, the wavelength becomes expanded, 92 cm. Uh, if original is just 85.75 cm when the source is stationary. Okay, that's the wavelength when the source is stationary. Just use V equal to F lambda. No need to use any Doppler effect equation. Okay, so that's all for Doppler effect. Um, hope you like the video. See you again yeah, in the next upcoming videos. Bye.